Hey guys, Drifter here. Today I'm going to be unboxing the brand new Xbox One Scuf Prestige Edition controller. This is the newest controller that they've made exclusively for the Xbox One. This video is of course sponsored by Scuf Gaming. You'll see that up there above my head. That's the FTC disclosure and they've been one of my oldest partners so that shouldn't be a surprise to any of you. But in more recent years, since Call of Duty has moved to PlayStation 4 and PlayStation 4 has kind of overtaken Xbox as the sweaty console, the focus has been on PlayStation. But now it is finally time for Xbox gamers to get something nice. We haven't had a new scuff on Xbox in far too long, so let's go ahead and open this bad girl up. What do we have? Uh, don't just play, perform is what it says on the flap of the box. And we are going to take a look at the new controller. Right out of here. Oh, look, I've got like influencer instructions on here. It's like, make a moment of it. Well, we're making a video out of it is what we're doing. We'll put this down. Uh, here's the controller. It's, you know, let's get the smaller part out. We've got the uh, travel case, which I will open up momentarily. Here is the Scuf Prestige controller itself. You can actually see with the Xbox One logo and buttons on it, finally getting something new. I'm going to go ahead and set it to the side. And here's my Scuff Gaming Prepare to Win shirt. I think I've, I have a different version of this shirt. I think I've worn it in every single review video except for this one. And a little padding to make sure that nothing bounces around. So let me go ahead and put the shirt up, box up, and set it aside. And we are going to take a look at the controller itself. So this is kind of light for a Scuff box. The other ones are like stupidly heavy. So I'm going to go ahead and slide it on out and see what we've got. Do we have a box or is, is it a lid or is it a fold? Uh-oh, is it taped on the bottom? Bum, 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 bum. Hey, I got a blue one. I've never opened this box before, so I didn't know. So I got the Drifter Blue, which is quite nice. Oh, it's in there pretty good. Let me, uh, this is going to make a loud pop. Oof, that one is really in there. There's nothing underneath the plastic in this box that I'm aware of. Let me check. Actually, yes, there is. Yes, there is. This is a different design box here. We have underneath here... Oh, this whole, this whole box comes out, actually. Aha! Underneath we have the instruction manual. Ah, this is actually, I kind of like this. We got instruction manual, USB cable, adjustment key and extra sticks just right off the rip which is very very nice and it's all in a nice sealed little baggie i like that usually they put everything inside the travel case but this travel case uh what did it come with oh this one came with gamer grip uh i don't really need gamer grip but some of you guys that have sweaty hands might really get some use out of that so let me put that up let me put this aside again and now we can finally Focus on the controller itself. So let's take a closer look at this and see how it compares to the PlayStation version and how it's different. I'm going to come in close over here and you'll notice immediately that we have these little ceiling rings like the PlayStation 4 version, which would be the Scuff Vantage. And if I had to guess, I'm going to guess that this just lifts right off. Uh huh. Or maybe let me get a grip on it. Aha. There we go. This right here just comes right off. Ooh, that is a very tight locking mechanism, but that is an interchangeable faceplate. So if you need a new or want a new controller design, you only need the faceplate, not everything else. I bet these sticks, yep, pop off very similar to the PlayStation 4 version, uh, the PlayStation 4 Vantage. It seems like we've got a lot of the same innovations here on an Xbox controller. I'm gonna slide the stick back on if I can see what I'm doing upside down. It uh, looks like in this particular controller we have the rumbles removed because it's very, very light. I'm going to go ahead and put the case back on, see how easily or tightly it slides on. Actually, that went on there pretty easily. While I was holding it earlier, one thing I noticed that really trips me up, I'm so used to PlayStation, I forgot how good the Xbox grips and triggers feel. I really like those better than, I just like the PlayStation thumbsticks. Standard face buttons, standard interchangeable sticks. On the back, we have the new version of the paddles. They look really funny. They almost look like squid tentacles now, but that's really good form factor. I'm gonna hold it up. So that most players that only use two paddles, you can very naturally rest your inner two fingers right here on the paddles. And for those of you sweaty boys like me that use all of them, you can rest your fingers kind of like this and hit all four face buttons at the same time. I actually like the paddle placement on the Xbox version better. 
and I'm going to take these off one at a time so you kind of get a good idea of how it would work. They are interchangeable like the PlayStation version, but one thing this controller has that the Vantage does not is you have adjustable trigger stops here. That's what these little switches or protrusions are. This might be a little bit hard to see, so we're going to show it on this trigger. Uh, and you can see that in default mode, I can push this all the way down, right? Well, if I flip this switch, I've activated a trigger stop, and that's as far as I can push it. And I'll just, I'm just going to hold this and flip the switch. It's probably a bad idea. And you can see that as I flip it, it changes, and it's got three settings. It's like off, it's got light trigger stop, and full on. So. You can customize them as you see fit, and what's neat is you can do each trigger individually. It's not a controller wide. So if I want to do the same thing on the left controller, you can see that left controller go left uh, thumbstick goes all the way down. If I flip the switch, we now have a functioning trigger stop. No more need to put little screws in here and twist and adjust and, and fidget with it. It's now pretty much set up for you to adjust on the fly, even not even a, not even an electrical switch. It's like a hard mechanical one. And that is it for showing off the features of this controller. I am not going to be able to review it because I do not own a functioning Xbox One. That's kind of embarrassing to admit, but I've been on the Sony Pony train for so long now I just don't have an Xbox. Judging from the build quality and weight in my previous experience with Scuf, I'm going to tell you that I assume that it's a good controller. And I do know that this one in particular is does have two things that's better than the PlayStation version other than the trigger stops. Number one is that since this is an Xbox controller and a Microsoft product, it will work on PC by default. This is plug and play with any PC game, which is fantastic. No weird Sony workaround or Vantage software to install, you just plug and play. And on top of that, because it's a Microsoft product, it's also supported on Android. So if you play mobile games on Android, you can be that sweaty guy on mobile with a controller. Guys, that is all for this review. I hope that you've enjoyed it. I hope that you have learned something useful about the new Scuf Prestige Edition Xbox controller, which she looks like a really nice controller. Kind of makes me wish I had an Xbox that worked. And if you would like to purchase this controller, there's a link down there below in the description. You can use code DRIFT to get 5% off, which this is, uh, I think this is $160. So that will add up to very, very real money. And uh, yeah, purchasing products is a good way to support me. I hope you check Scuff out at least. And thank you for all the support this last couple weeks. It's been a good couple weeks on my channel. I'm rambling at this point. Okay, we'll do this. Drifter out. There we go. Okay, I got that on camera. That's fantastic. It's always good to have a little something at the end. Peanut butter oatmeal.